Hi there, good morning, good evening, good day, good night. Okay, whichever time zone you guys are in, thank you for checking out my channel on Let's Fix. So today we'll be fixing on VF2, Virtua Fighter 2, that's right. So first of all, you need the original PC CD-ROM to be inserted in your disk drive. Alright, if you have a repackaged version, that's fine. Because after all, you don't need the disk to play, but you still need the CD-ROM inside in order for you guys to have music. If you have the Sega Saturn version, that's fine. But you still need the original disc for you to install the game. Unless you are downloading somewhere, then that's a different story, okay? Alright, so before we start, um, I just want to tell you guys that I'm using a NVIDIA GTX 780 Ti and running on a 337.50 driver, which is on April 2014. Alright, so let's get started. First, go to your program files x86 and navigate inside there and create a folder named Sega. Now you can pause the video if you want. I'll, I'll give you time. Create that, Sega. Okay, done? Alright, open it up and create Virtua Space Fighter 2. Please take note there's no spacing between the Fighter and the 2, but there is a space in between Virtua and Fighter. Alright, Virtua Space Fighter 2. Okay, so once you have created that, uh, you browse your CD content. Whoops, sorry, I opened the wrong thing. You browse your CD content and you click on the setup, whichever setup that is going to install the game. All right, so over here I got the explosive version. Um, we're just going to install, and by default, it's going to install to C Sega VF2. So we're going to browse and go to the location that we just created a few folders, which is in a program files x86 and Sega, Sega. Yeah, that's Sega and double click on Virtual Fighter 2, okay? So click on OK and make sure it's there. Program files x86 slash Sega slash Virtual Space Fighter 2 without spacing. Once that is good, click on full and let the game install. Alright, if you check on the link below, there's a, basically I give you a link to download a few files. It's, a, it's actually one file that is um, zipped into two files that is zipped into one. Sorry about that. Alright, so once the installation is done, um, you don't have to install the right X, cl click on exit. Alright, so you're just going to download the file that I gave in the link below and it will eventually give you to this VF2 fix. Now, if you don't know how it's going to look like, it's actually in a OneDrive. Let me just show you how it's going to look like. There, so when you click on the link, you will go to this page and you have the VF2 fix there, right click on it and download and that's it. So once you have download that, you will get this file, okay? The VF2 fix. So open that and extract the two content inside. One is a direct draw fix and one is a VF2 EXE. So extract that two out, all right? So what you need to do now is actually to run the VF2 D draw fix. Now, if you install it on a different location. You have to edit the VF2 dDrawFix.registry. You have to right click on it and edit to whichever location that you install. So, but whichever you edit, don't remove or change the last part of the commands, which is a VF2.exe onwards. Don't change this. Don't change that part. All right. So just change whatever is in front. Okay. And also don't forget the double slash. You need it there for the registry to work properly. Alright, if you didn't if you follow my installation directory, then you are good to go. And just double click on that. Alright. So next thing you need to do is actually to copy this VF2.exe and paste it in your installation folder. Just paste it there and replace the file. Okay. Now before you start, just double check, right click on the file that you just replaced. Um, go to properties compatibility and change the color mode to 16 bit because if you don't do so you will get an error and, unab and unable to start the game simple as that all right so now you can actually try to start the game so let's try okay so here we are in the main menu so before we start press f6 and you will be in this uh, basically graphic options. Um, the, f the EXE file that we replaced will actually prompt you all this option for you to choose basically the D3D and D draw, you know, whichever one that you want to choose. Why some of them is actually crossed out is because they require a D draw. For instance, the 
BG, the background. Okay. If you use D draw, then you can change the BG quality. Stage, if you use D draw, you can cho choose the stage quality. For a model, um, you have to use D3D and this shading you have to turn it on in order for the highlight to be applicable. But I personally don't like to use the highlight because um, it's not that nice. So um, just use that as default. All right, and we're good to go. Okay, so if you want to change your controller options or keyboard options, press F5, and you begin going into this menu and key assign, and everything is there. So I'm sure you guys know how to change this. Uh, all right. So right now we can start the game. Uh, arcade mode and just press. Okay. Um, right now you will see, you might see a low performance in game. And also, you might notice that um, there are few flickering like white color splash screens. That's because I'm recording with Camtasia. Okay. But if not, the game will just run fine. And alright, we just beat Lao on the first bout. So we can exit that with Alt F4. So that's it guys. All you need is your Virtual Fighter 2 CD-ROM and install it in a specified directory that I showed. If not, um, you have to change the VF2D draw fix files, change the lines in here to whichever or wherever you install the game. But if not, just double click on it and replace the VF2. Um, again, this fix is done by me, so I hope you guys like it and is able to play the game without any problems. So, uh, thank you once again for checking out the Feature Productions. I'm Hafiz, signing off from YouTube.